Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform the steps in Part C of the Groovy Google Sheets Activity 1 Variable Statistics. So to start with, you need to be in the tab that says Census at School Sheet, which is right here. So have that sheet open. So it says to highlight all the data. Remember, you can click on the rectangle on top of row 1 and to the left of column A. So here's row 1, here's column A. So if you click on this rectangle, it highlights all the data. To make a pivot table, you're going to make a pivot table from the data menu. So up here in data, you're going to select pivot table and press create. And it's going to open up a new tab that is going to be called pivot table. Step 9 says to group the rows by gender. So where it says rows, you're going to add gender. And what that does is starts to organize that the females will be in one row and the male data will be in another row. So that's what it means to group by rows. We're going to display the values as age. So under values, click add and change that to age. So for each gender, it's going to show you by default the sum of the ages. We don't want the sum of the ages, so what we're going to do is summarize by average, and that will give us the average or the mean age. So here where it says summarize, we're going to change that to average. And now what it's going to do is give us the average or the mean age. So the average age for females is about 12.8 and the average age for males is about 12.4. Now you will see that in row 2 it shows an average age and the gender is blank. This is because there is at least one person in the survey who didn't give an answer for that gender. So to deal with this, using the pivot table editor, down at the bottom, next to filters, click add, filters, add, and then it says select gender. And we're going to show only males and females. So instead of showing all items, we're going to click on that and we're going to uncheck blank and leave it so that it's only showing males and females. Press OK, and you can see that that row has disappeared. Now what we're going to do is group the columns by mob phone, which is whether or not they have a mobile phone. So under columns, you're going to click add, and you're going to select mob phone for mobile phone. Now it's a little bit hard to see. These numbers are actually the average ages of people that do not have a mobile phone and these are the average ages of the people that do have a mobile phone and these are the average ages of the yes and the no combined. What you can do is highlight this and center the data to make it a little bit easier to see. Now sometimes, like what just happened, if you click out of the table the pivot table editor disappears. If you want it to come back, just click anywhere in the table and it comes back. So, question, so step 12, once again, we have column B showing a blank. So it doesn't say yes or no. That means that some people did not answer that question. So what we're gonna do is do the filter again, just like we did with filtering the genders. So we get rid of that column. So down by filter, you're going to add mob phone and we're only going to show people that said yes or no. We're going to get rid of the blanks and you press OK and then that column disappears. So now we have a pivot table showing a breakdown of the average ages of females and males of whether or not they own a phone or do not own a phone. We can further subdivide our variables into different strata. So what we're going to look at is whether or not they have a computer. 
So we're going to group the rows by computer. So under rows, we're now going to group it by computer. Again, you can center this data if you want to make it a little bit easier to follow. And now we're showing not only the average age of people that own a mobile phone, but also the average age of people that own a computer. And it's divided by gender. It says remove any blank rows by the filter function at the bottom. So over here, there were some males, so it's in the male section, that did not answer whether they had a computer or not. So down in filters again, we're going to go to computer and we're only going to show people that answered yes or no. And that will get rid of that blank. So in this table, what we are doing is we are showing the average age of males and females, whether or not they own a computer and whether or not they own a mobile phone. So this is the average age of females that do not own a computer and do not own a mobile phone. This here would be the average age of males that do not own a computer but do own a mobile phone. Something like this would be the average age of males that do own a computer and it's the total of um, both owning a phone and not owning a phone. So this is just the average age of people that own a computer, whether or not they own a phone. And a number like this would be the average age, since it's a grand total, of anyone who owns a mobile phone. And you can add more than one kind of statistic. In addition to the average, we will also calculate the standard deviation. So next to values, we're going to click Add. So next to values, we're going to click Add, and it's Select Age, and we're going to summarize by standard deviation. And then now we can see the mean and the standard deviation for each gender broken down into whether or not they have a mobile phone and or a computer. And that concludes part C of this activity.